G'day guys, my name is Dave Trent and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now I'll be teaching everything using an acoustic guitar just for clarity, but in the playthrough later on, I'll be using an electric guitar like in the recording. Now for the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Alright, so let's start with the main riff of the song, which is played all throughout the verse. To start off this riff, we're going to base it around an A minor chord shape. So have the A minor ready, but lift your index finger. So it's an A sus2, technically. We're going to be plucking the 5th string, then the 4th string, and then you'll pluck the 2nd string, and then you'll pluck it again, but you'll put your index finger down on the 1st fret. Like that. So those 4 plucks all together. And then for the next half of this riff, we're going to base it around an F power chord. So you'll have your index finger on the 1st fret of the 6th string, and your ring finger will just be on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. We're going to pluck the 6th string, 5th string, then you pluck the 3rd string, which is open, and then you pluck it again, but with your free middle finger, you'll push down onto the 2nd fret, and hit that note. So those 4 notes all together. And in total, the verse riff will just sound like this. Now if you want to get a little more fancy and play the bass riff as well, then this is how we're going to do it. So after our four notes for the A minor, we're going to pluck the fourth string and then we're going to lift all our fingers up off the strings. We're going to pluck the fourth string again, but you're going to hammer on and pull off, all in one quick motion, like that. And then after that hammer on pull off, you'll put your ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. It needs to go there anyway for the F chord, and you'll pluck that by itself. So the extra bass riff, which is highlighted in brackets here, will sound like this and together with the guitar riff. And then after we play the four notes of the F power chord riff, we're simply gonna hit the open fourth string and then the fifth string. So the second section will sound like this. Now for the second line of tab, the last two notes are a little bit different. Instead of hitting the open 4th string and then the 5th string, we're going to take our pinky finger and put it down on the 3rd fret of this 4th string, pluck that, and then lift it, and then hit the open 4th string. So the second time around, the F chord section will sound like this. And in total, if you want to play the guitar riff and the bass riffs all together, it will sound like this. So just to recap, all the tab that's in brackets is optional, just if you want to play it, but technically John Frushanti only plays the simple riff like this and then Flea is playing the bass riff. Moving on, and we get verse riff two. And this is fairly simple. To start off, we're going to have our index finger on the third fret of the fifth string, our ring finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and pinky finger on the fifth fret of the second string. We're gonna pluck the fifth string, fourth string, second string, and back to the fourth string. So that will sound like this. And then we're going to go to a G bar chord like this. So it's the same shape as an F bar chord, but up two frets. We're going to pluck the sixth string, fifth string, third string, and back to the fifth string. That will sound like this. Then you go down to the F chord and do the exact same picking pattern. And then we're going to play a D minor and pluck the fourth string, third string, and then hit the second and first strings together like this and everything together
Next, we get to the pre-chorus, which is really easy, and it's just comprised of two chords. We have an A minor, and then an F major 7. Now, to play an F major 7, you'll take your ring and pinky finger and put them on the 3rd fret of the 5th and 4th strings. Middle finger will go on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. Index finger on the 1st fret of the 2nd string. And the 1st string will just be left open like that. And finally, this is optional, but you'll reach your thumb over and push down on the 1st fret of the 6th string. And that's the F major 7. It's really important that you do have that 1st string open as it will give it that airy sound. Now the strumming pattern for this pre-chorus will go something like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And you're gonna play that once for each chord. So the pre-chorus will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Next we get to the chorus and we just have two lines of chords here. Our first line of chords is C, G, D minor, and then A minor. For each chord, we're playing a super simple strumming pattern that just goes down, 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 up. So the first line of chords. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now for the second line of chords, we have a C, and then we have a G, and then a D minor. Now the C has the same strumming pattern as the first line, but when we get to the G, it's just three down strums. So down, 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 and then we go to the D minor and we just hold that and let it ring out. So down, 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 like that. And in total, the first chorus will sound like this. Now when we get to the second and third chorus, we extend it out a little bit. So for the second line, this D minor, the first time we play it actually has a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, 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 up. And then the second D minor is just the typical down, 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 up. Then we have a third line of chords, which is identical to the first line. And then our fourth line of chords is similar to how we played it in the first chorus. So the second and third chorus will sound like this. Finally, let's learn the solo in the song, which is fun to play. We're going to start with our middle finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string and have our index finger here ready to hit the 9th fret of the 1st string. We're going to pluck the 10th fret, the 9th fret, and then with our ring finger go to the 11th fret of the 3rd string. We're going to pluck it and then bend up to a pitch similar to the 13th fret. So you're going to hit the 11th fret and then bend up to that pitch. Once you're bent up, you're going to release it back down as well, like that. After a bit of a pause, we're going to do the exact same thing. Then with our ring finger already on the 11th fret, we're going to pluck it three times. And then the fourth time we pluck it, we're going to hit it and then pull off to the 9th fret of the 3rd string. And then with our ring finger, go to the 11th fret of the 4th string and hit that twice. So that run all together. And then our next phrase will just be 9th fret of the 4th string, 11th fret, and then 9th fret of the 3rd string. Like that. And then we're going to hit the 11th fret of the 3rd string, bend and release again and then go down to the 9th fret and then end on the 11th fret of the 4th string. So that small phrase. So, so far we have this.
for our next section we have 10th fret, 9th fret, then we go up to the 12th fret of the first string, and then finally 14th fret, and then hold out on that. For our next phrase we're doing something similar, but when we get to this 14th fret we're going to hit it and bend up, and then after we've bent it, hit that 14th fret again just by itself. For our next phrase we're going to go all the way up to the 17th fret of our first string with our ring finger, then 16th fret, 14th fret, 17th fret of the second string, back to the 14th of the first, back to 17th of the second, down to 14th, up to the 17th, and then end on the 14th. So that full run. After that, with our index finger on the 14th fret there, our ring finger will go on the 16th fret of the 3rd string. We're going to pluck those two strings together, but you're going to bend the 3rd, like that, up. And you're going to do that twice. It's hard for me to bend with the acoustic string here, but you should ideally get that pitch to the same as that pitch. With your bend, like that. You're going to do that three times, and then we're going to go 17th fret, 14th fret, then go to the 19th fret and bend that up and then hit 17th, 14th, 17th, 14th on the 2nd string. Then we go 16th of the 3rd string, 14th of the 3rd string, 17th of the 2nd, then 15th of the 2nd, down 1th fret to 14th, and then end on 14th fret of the 3rd string. So that's one fairly big run, but it sounds like this all together. So the solo and title will sound like this. So that's everything you need to learn. Now I'll be playing the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to head over to guitarzerodahero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Also, be sure to subscribe to my second channel, Guitar Zero to Hero Express, where I just upload covers of these songs so you can play them back and practice along to them. As always, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.